everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy's Sweet Life and today we are gonna try to make ribs in the Instant Pot. I have looked at many recipes for this and I am kind of adapting it to hopefully make it work. So the first thing I'm doing is I am getting my ribs ready. I went ahead and cut my rack of ribs into three pieces because I've heard that they really can fall apart in the Instant Pot and it's hard to get them out if you keep them as one big giant rack. So I went ahead and cut mine so that I can hopefully get my tongs in and just get the sections out. I tried to remove the membrane on the back side of the rib and I could not figure it out. So I'm gonna have to look more into detail about that because I just couldn't get it. So I went ahead and used this grill rib rub. This is from H-E-B, it's just a grocery store brand here in Texas, um, but you can get any kind of rib rub. They had like six or seven different ones that weren't just, you know, the store brand. So I went ahead and transferred my rib rub into one of these little Ikea canisters. And here's a little tip. If you have, you know, anything glass, you can use these wet erase markers and then you can just wash it off later. So like if I'm rubbing it, it comes off a little bit, but it won't come off near to the level that dry erase do. So the second you touch it with a dry erase, it rubs right off. So I used that. I do want to get one of those white paint pins because you really, you know, can't see it once you're looking in there. You could barely see the writing on there, but I thought for now that that would work so I could keep it labeled. So I went ahead and got my seasoning on there. This seasoning recommends one to two tablespoons per pound. I've got like three and a half pounds of ribs here, so I went ahead and just used three tablespoons. It seemed like enough, and I left Olivia's very lightly coated. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these in plastic wrap, stick them in the fridge until we're ready to Instant Pot. So I'm doing this at about 1 p.m. We just finished up lunch. All right, my ribs have been in the fridge for a few hours. It's actually about 5.45, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this. I don't really know how long this is gonna take. All I know is I'm gonna put my Instant Pot set on 40 minutes, and then we will see where they are. I think they will be fall off the bone tender at that point. I've seen anywhere from 25 to 50 minutes. Um, you can have a shorter amount of time if you add apple cider vinegar or plain vinegar in here. It helps tenderize the meat. I'm not going to do that. We just don't like vinegar very much. Specifically, I'm afraid my husband won't like it because he's really sensitive to vinegar. So I'm not going to add any vinegar inside my Instant Pot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add my water. And you have to have a minimum one cup of water. I just I kind of eyeball it. I just make it so that the water doesn't come above the trivet. So I've got my trivet in there. I'm going to set my ribs on there. And I'm going to add a couple of splashes of liquid smoke. So I picked this one up, natural mesquite. I'm just going to give it a couple of little, little drops and hopefully that'll add some smoky flavor to the ribs. I didn't add very much because this is very, very strong. Okay, positioned. So I've got my ribs in there. That's how they look. I'm going to go ahead and get my top on and set it 40 minutes on high pressure. So I've got my vent. I need to close that. All right, everything's locked. The vent is closed. We're gonna set this for 40 minutes and it says meat and stew. So I'm gonna try to see what that says. Yeah, high pressure there and that says one hour. So I'm gonna crank it down to just 40 minutes. All right, I'm gonna just let it come to pressure now. So I've had some technical difficulties. First, I forgot the ceiling ring and now I ended up putting it on, but it is still steaming in the back here. So my ceiling ring is not on properly. I have some green beans and some soup working now. So soup's the backup plan if this doesn't work. It's still got 23 minutes. So it, came, it took forever to come to pressure. And when it finally clicked that it was at pressure, the thing wasn't up and there was like steam and condensation everywhere. It was leaking out. Um, so I knew that it wasn't right. I realized that the ring wasn't on there. And now this. So it's definitely not completely sealed if it's leaking like that. But it's pretty high pressure because the little thing is up now where it wasn't up the first time. So it may work, it may not work. We're gonna find out in about 30 minutes. They are definitely falling off the bone. So I think that's a good sign. We will have these tomorrow because it's way too late. At least they got cooked. I wasn't sure that they were gonna be cooked all the way, but they're definitely done. So here's what they look like. They are completely done. They are falling apart, which is great. So I thought I could heat them up and put the barbecue sauce on them at the same time. So I am going to wrap these up as soon as they're cooled a little bit. Right now they're steaming. I went ahead and took Olivia's ribs out. They are fall off the bone tender. So I've got hers here. I did take the top off because it was very peppery. And now I have the ribs in here on broil. 
I don't know if you can see that. So I've got them on broil. I did heat them in the oven with the sauce on, so I just basted them. This is actually Rudy's barbecue sauce. We got Rudy's over the weekend, and so I just got a little thing of the barbecue sauce. All right. I got these out. They are a tiny bit charred, which is what I want, so they look really nice. To go with it, we are having some carrots. I have some hummus with mine. We also have green beans, so the green beans I already set on the table. So that is it for this video. I think it would have worked really nicely had my seal been nice. So that would be 40 minutes on pressure, and I think it would be great. So I'm really excited to dig into these. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, bye. with oh my goodness let me see you made the whole thing good job Libby you gonna make it again oh careful don't hurt yourself Bubba okay um so, but I thought this one you did it good job Libby